There once was a lady in waiting, let's call her Jane. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd rather battle fire breathing dragons. I knew I could prove that a girl could be a knight, though my friends all laughed at me. But I wouldn't be discouraged and trained in secret. Then a dragon pinched the royal prince, and everyone was freaking. So I went alone to the dragon's home to slay the dragon. Young prince, then the king made me a knight apprentice. Hey now, hey now, now. With dragon's help, I'll be a knight some day. Well, no, oh, come, Oh, my God. Oh. oh, what is that infernal racket? Look, do you mind? I was flying through perfectly lovely dream clouds where suddenly, click, 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 they turned into clog dancing cows. Sorry, but I woke up from a dream too. All about the strange designs on my sword. <coughs> my sword, Jane. The one you found up in my mountain. Yes, dragon. That one. Our sword. You know how these runes are different on each side? The rune for love here, and this one for blade. Yeah, I had a one for birth, and one for death. Yes, yeah, very boring. We know all this. Yes, we do, oh wise green frog. But do we know why? A puzzle. A secret dragon puzzle of, of dragon proportions. Line them up, twist it, twist it round. What happens? <laughs> Something fantastic, I bet. Oh, makes animal noises. Brilliant. This makes no sense. If nothing happens, why build a puzzle at all? Perhaps it was designed to slay dragons through sleep deprivation. <laughs> Lazy lizard. As long as we are up, shall we go on patrol? Oh, too early. Too tired. Too bad. What is the point of patrol when it is so boring? Boring means the kingdom is at peace, which is good. Good for who? I hate boring. You hate boring. We need danger, excitement. Dragon. Yes, a giant green dragon who seeks out danger at every turn. Oh. <sighs> Dragon. Hi. What oh, were Jane, you... Jane, that was... How did that happen? What have I done? Never mind. No harm done. Just an accident. An accident? That was no accident. That was irresponsible. How could I have done that? Oh, Jane, I'm so sorry. Good. So now forget it. Nothing happened. Apart from waking up the entire kingdom with my silly screams. Yes, screams that will haunt me for years to come. For centuries. No more sweet dreams, Jane. My nights will be haunted by visions of you hitting the ground like an egg. Oh, please. An egg, Jane. Crack. Squish. Yes, enough. I get the picture. Come on. A little danger gives me an appetite. Time for breakfast. But no scrambled eggs. Oh, right. Good idea. Back to the castle. be faster. I just thought the scenic route would make a nice change. Hang on tight. Whoa! 
What was it that just lit upon my staff? A tiny butterfly? Your wit is so disarming, Gunther. Speaking of disarmed... Uh, uh, parry this one, Lady Luck. Enough! No more smacking stick stuff. Staves, dragon. We were sparring. Not anymore. Not without helmet and full armor. What? Are you mad? <laughs> you should thank your nursemaid, Jane. He just saved you from a sound thrashing. Out of the way, dragon. I shall teach him what a thrashing is. Better yet. What say I fetch a deck of cards for a spirited game of whist, eh? I am famished. I could eat a horse. Ugh. Not if you spent all day mucking out their stables. Well, what shall we have then? Fish! Fish? What about roast beef? Or roast vegetables? Mutton. Or... Fish! And lots of roast vegetables! <laughs> then fish is exactly what I want. Not so fast. Did you wash those vegetables? Oh, no. Yes, of course. And the fish? Did you remove all the bones? I think so. Well, the teeny tiny ones are impossible to find. Unless one of them gets stuck in Jane's throat. Oh, dear. I suppose I could try to find them all. Pepper, Dragon, I have eaten fish before. Not with my approval. I know. I can bring you a nice bowl of porridge. Not too hot, though. Is it all right if Smithy and I eat the fish? Suit yourself. What am I, your mother? No sight of him yet, Sir Theodore. A knight must have patience, Jane. And a proper lunch. If your falcon does not fetch the spit of beef soon, I fear I may have to eat it myself. He shall be here. He is right behind you. Not you, dragon. The falcon. I am helping Sir Theodore practice for his falconry exhibition tomorrow. Falconry? That sounds... Dangerous! Jane was in no danger. Trencher is well trained. Oh, really? Well, I actually have wings. And in my expert opinion, your creature's flying technique is appalling. No finesse. I insist that this trencher, silly name, respect a no-fly zone around Jane. Dragon, will you stop treating me like a child? Well, excuse me for looking out for your welfare. I fare very well on my own, thank you. Now leave me alone. Fine. Good then. Jane? temper on that girl. And no appreciation. I was just trying to keep her safe. Yes, I know I may have been a bit excessive. But trust me, Squeaky, that is one dangerous world out there. <sighs> hmm. What have we here? Blade and birth. Just like on the sword. But this one in the middle... Interesting. But what does it mean? It means I am talking to an upside-down rodent. Careful how you hold that. Sharp blade, very dangerous. Knights have swords. Sometimes we have to use them. Sorry. But accidents do happen. Yes, they do. Is this still about me slipping off your back? No, 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 no. Well, yes. Dragon, you have got to stop worrying about me. Although it is very cute that you care so much. Cute? Rabbits are cute. Claws, remember? Tear, rip, shred. Cute. No, Jane, this large forbidding reptile needs to keep you safe because only you can help interpret the runes in my cave. Uh-huh. Nice try. 
For your information, I have just discovered a rune that might unlock the sword puzzle. Really? What are we waiting for? Show it to me. Now? In the dark? Why not? We have flown at night before. You're right. But you know, owls are out. Nightingales. All sorts of nocturnal riffraff. What say we look at the new rune in the morning? Hmm? And we will fly, right? Mm, you, we could. Although walking could do us both good. I'm getting a bit of a tummy. This is not just about a mysterious rune, is it? Yes, it is. No. You just wanted an excuse to fly down and check up on me. Well, I do not need a nursemaid. Thank you. Jane, no. Night is just not safe for either of us. Jane, I think I have a splinter in my snout. I cannot remember the last time you went on patrol without Dragon. I just need some time alone. Atop an animal who does not offer an opinion every minute. That is because you do not speak horse. <coughs> you see, Cleaver is telling us something out there is amiss. Be careful, Jane. Why is everyone so concerned with my welfare lately? I can take care of myself. I would imagine so with that weapon. Sorry, Smithy. Just another puzzle I mean to solve. Yeah! <coughs> I volunteer to finish Jane's porridge. Not so fast. She might still get back in time. Just so long as she gets back before the falconry display. I have a few bird quips for the king's amusement. Stop hinting then and tell us. Well, if you insist. <clears throat> so anyway, what do you call a creature with two large wings and one tiny brain? Besides dragon, that is. Dragon, hello. What do you call a creature with large teeth and a tiny temper? Uh, uh, I call them as little as possible. Uh, consider the joke replaced with uh, a dance. Goodbye. Where is Jane? On patrol. Without me? I gave her a good horse. A horse? A talking horse? Who breathes fire? A horse with razor-sharp claws? Well, no. I gave her cleaver. Very steady on her feet she is. Wakey, wakey, you big newt! I see. Gone down to nursemaid me already, have you? On patrol, Smithy said. On a horse. She could be anywhere. I can cover the mountain. You send your men down over the farms. Dragon, your fears are ill-placed. Jane is a knight, riding a horse instead of a dragon, like any other knight. Yes, but... She is a fine horsewoman, well-trained, clever, and resourceful. All perfectly true, but... I am confident Jane can handle anything fate might send her. Do you not share that confidence? Yes. No. Oh, Bat bladders. Do you have to bring common sense into this? Ah! Go, go play with your meaty, catchy, birdie thing. I'm just going to wait here for clever, resourceful, well trained Jane to ride back on her horse. So, what do you think, Cleaver? If Birth and Blade make a new rune on the sword, what about the other two? Love and Death? <laughs> Yes, I know. Crazy. But why should dragon runes make any more sense than the big green lump himself? Come on, Cleaver. That looks...
Thunderheads. I have to go. No, have to stay. Jane is fine. Jane is a knight. With a horse. Do not go racing off. Do not. When do we begin, Sir Theodore? I had hoped Jane would be back to assist me, Your Majesty. I would be honoured to take Jane's place, though I have never been billed below a bird. Bird bill? Pun. Right. Show must go on, eh? Just hold this meat, will you? Delighted. No problem. Meat firmly in hand. Now what? Now stand very still as I release Trencher. The bird will swiftly climb before swooping down to pluck his prey. From me? Precisely. From your fingertips. With its razor-sharp talons? That is the plan. Bravo! This should be most entertaining. Uh, not too entertaining, we hope. And the wind is picking up. Makes it more of a challenge. Everything shaking around. What luck! Uh, uh, yes, luck me, everything shaking around. Falcon have returned by now, Sir Theodore. I fear this wind has confused him. Oh, pity. Uh, can I drop the meat now? The weather is turning spiteful. Perhaps Your Majesty will take shelter. This way, Your Highness. Sir Theodore, Cleaver has returned safely, but without Jane. What? Jane is missing? Get Sir Ivan and Gunther and secure the castle. Bolt all shutters and doors. Yes, sir. Bolt the doors? Jane is out there and this is all you can do? No. Jane is my knight. I shall find her myself. Right. Think. Remember your lessons. Take your ground with protection to your back. Force your enemies to approach your sword directly. Mark out an escape route before they attack. Or climb a tree. Jane! Jane! Yes. High enough. Take a breath. Good move, Jane. You're sitting in a lightning tree with the storm approaching. Sir Theodore would be proud. And all for what? To try and solve a silly puzzle. Laid on birth, so. Love on death, so. There, done. So what? What is that? What is that? I 
will fill the room. Dragon, please! Perhaps this conversation could be held indoors? You three go first. Three? Found the little fella flying upside down in a cloud. Trencher! We are both grateful to you, Dragon. Brotherhood of the Wing. Then the Cyclops said, keep an eye out for me, and told his unicorn to stick to the point. <laughs> oh, I do like a captive audience. Comfortable? Yes. Sorry, Jane. Me too. I overreacted. Me too. Oh, your sword sings better than that. Our sword? Well, who would have thought? A sword that can summon a dragon. You did it, Jane. One more rune puzzle unlocked. We did it. And we shall discover everything in time, I promise. You and me together. Everything there is to know about dragons. Thank you.